Hey guys, Birch Bark Johnny here. I'm gonna load up some 38 special rounds tonight. Thought I'd bring you guys along and uh, show you guys uh, how I reload. Um, just want to throw a little disclaimer out there. Uh, this is how I do it, and uh, however you do it. Uh, may be different or however the manufacturers recommend may or may not be different than the way I reload and uh, I take personal responsibility uh, for how I reload my shells but I cannot take any responsibility for how you load shells whether or not you do it the way I do it or the way that the manufacturer does it uh, I just want to throw out a little disclaimer there uh, in case uh, anybody thinks that they should sue me because they do something stupid if I do something stupid and, and I blow myself up that's my fault okay if you do something stupid even if it's the same stupid thing I did and you blow yourself up that is your fault so that being said here we go so what I got here is uh, some 38 special i zoom in here so you guys can see that once fired brass right here I've got uh, oh, probably 50 some rounds of uh, 125 green hollow point jacketed hollow point I guess um, these are uh, manufactured by Montana Gold Bullet Company it's a local company I use a lot of their bullets in my reloading because they make a lot of the handgun calibers that I use and make good bullets and they're local I like to support local businesses um, maybe someday uh, I'll stop in down at their shop and ask if I can do a video down there but we'll have to see they may or may not be willing to let me do that but anyhow let's get on with this so what I need here is uh, I got my powder measure scale right there um, I've got my priming tools, I've got my loading book, I've got some bullseye powder up here. I've got my drill, which I use with my Lee case trimming tool uh, when I do the case prep. My right below the drill there is a chamfering tool. Um, there's a die right there. I've also got that's the uh, seating die. And then uh, in the my RCBS press I've got the decapping sizing die I've got some calipers and then uh, those little implements laying right there are some Lee case trimming uh, pieces there and there's also a uh, powder funnel and right in front of the powder funnel is a uh, primer pocket cleaner so uh, let's get to it. I'll show you uh, first thing we got to do a little case prep. We got to size these cases and get the primers knocked out of them, and then we'll trim them up. So first thing we do, we put a case in the uh, on the shell holder, and we run the ram up into the press. And there's a decapping pin in there. I think you can just barely see it sticking out there. That decaps the primer out of the, the shell. Okay, so this one's ready to rock. We're going to set this one over here. And these ones are now ready to be sized. So we'll just do this uh, 47 more times and we'll be ready to do some sizing some trimming I mean so I'll come back when it's time to trim these up alright guys we're back what I got here if you guys can see this this is a little lock stud that goes in your drill see that this is my Lee case trimming tool. This right here is 
the little lock stud that's the right size for 38 special 357 so you just throw your case in there snug that down this right here is the cutter and here is the depth adjustment so this is all ready to size you just screw it on there that'll put you to your trim length and just set that right inside the case and give her a spin it's as simple as that just loosen that up a little bit pull it out you got a trimmed case throw the next one back in there it's real easy trims it right up trims them nice and square then the only thing you've got to do after that take your chamfering tool a little chamfer on the inside and out get the burrs off of there lickety split and they're ready to be primed alright next thing I want to show you guys this is the uh, primer pocket cleaner just throw it in there give it a little twist just kind of gets rid of uh, any excess junk that's left in there after the primer goes off so just a little just a few dollar little piece of equipment just helps you get a little bit more consistency. Oops. Mm -hmm. 